hope tonight for some premature babies and their families. A new small baby unit at USA Health Children's and Women's Hospital is now operational for babies born at 20 weeks or earlier. Cherish Lombard is taking us inside this new facility to tell us what sets it apart from the rest. And Cherish, some of these, some people might find some of these pictures a little hard to look at. The babies yeah. are so tiny. Exactly, Peter. You know, tiny, they're struggling to survive. That is heartbreaking, but heartwarming when you see them start to flourish. Now, as a first time mom myself of a now 10 month old, I, like many of you, know that pregnancy and being a parent is the best thing in the world, but it can also be scary at times, always wondering if your little one is healthy and getting stronger inside your belly. If the baby decides to come into the world before 28 weeks gestation, he or she needs the very best care. Well, now there's a new peace of mind for parents who bring a tiny baby into the world. The small baby unit at USA Help Children's and Women's Hospital. There isn't much more precious than this. Sweet little Tatum was born on March 7th, weighing just over a pound. Now, about three months later, he's gaining weight and getting healthier by the day, thanks to the doctors and nurses in this new small baby unit. It's the first facility of its kind on the Gulf Coast. We were trying to group babies with um, specific needs um, together that were similar. So those babies that are born before 28 weeks and before 1,000 grams um, have a lot of not only medical needs, but neurodevelopmental needs. And there are several advantages to grouping them together in one room. And grouping them together allows us to focus on them as a group um, rather than um, having to kind of um, when they're spread out amongst the other patients you may not have them paired well um, and we that brings into problems in trying to manage that aspect of their care. Research shows babies born before 28 weeks gestation or weighing less than 2.2 pounds have better health outcomes where a specially trained team provides care and we're told survival rate is improving. And he is fat. This little guy is one example. His mother, Molly Potter, says he needed to be delivered, but she had a hard time finding a hospital with doctors who would deliver before 24 weeks. So many give up on them without even trying. Like Our hospital point blank said no. He's not worth it. 2% chance. We're not going to do anything. Then she called USA Health Children's and Women's Hospital. He was born at 22 weeks, weighing 13.9 ounces. Cullen had to stay in the hospital for 160 days. He was, you know, the size of my hand and didn't even look like a baby. Today, he's doing much better, and he just turned a year old on March 14th. He just got a complete clean bill of health from every single doctor that he's seen, no medications. Potter wants other parents in her situation to know there is hope. I want people to see that they can make it, that they not only can make it, but they can have a good quality of life just like any other baby. That'll bring happy tears to your eyes, won't it? Now, we are told this new small baby unit can hold 22 babies, and usually the babies stay there until their original due date. So if you'd like to learn more about this, you can go to WKRG.com. Cherish Lombard, News 5.